Undead Buster. It gives you points you can exchange for items, gems, names, and recipes. Weapons. Okay, cool. Yeah. Honestly, I'm having a rough time with um keeping up with this uh, with weapons at all. Like, I'm finding that I'm getting new weapons faster than I can break down my old ones into spheres. I'm not really too sure how I'm supposed to be rushing through things to get that. You know what? I'll talk to people before I uh before I go looting their houses. I will talk to them. Look, I keep getting decent weapons that I need to turn into materia spheres, but I can't. Oh, hey, Brooke. Nice to meet you. You're from Nerun Village, right? I could tell easily. Any request for rebuilding it? I should at least request the Pole Guardian. What do you need for your home? There's a storage cabin. I have many things to stash there. Sounds good. go. You are done. If I saw you, I knew right away who you were. You're the son of the warrior Aga. <gasps> Aga once came to Muskalaka. When I first saw him, I sensed something special in him. Aga was an amazing man. Something about him drew everyone to his side. Just like you, now. He fought well, especially with swords. He told me he was making a journey to find an amazing treasure. I don't know if he found it or not, but when he visited here again, he left the golem Goske here. You said you were on a quest to defeat the Dark Genie. Your father left you a tip for defeating him. I think Aga knew this day would come. The entire purpose of his journey could have been ex for exactly that. I really believe that's true. I have faith in you. You can do it. Yes, I really believe you can defeat the Dark Genie. Here, take this. It's an attack plus three gem. I have a stock of some items here. Not much, though. Take them on your adventure. But I have to charge you for them. I have to earn a living, of course. Wait. What do you got? He sells anti-stone, anti-flight, feathers... Potato cakes and gold. No, oh, not bad. Well, he also sells meat, which is useful. So it's a full heal and a full water restore. All right, you're pretty cool, buddy, Mister Brook. The gourd has been acquired. Bob has the animation joke. Hm. On Dead Buster. Oh, yeah, that's the prisoner hut. I don't need anything there. Oh, I bet one of the sisters is going to want the, um. Now, what you call it? The. Pr the beautification powder you got from, uh. What's his face? The, um. Guy in Last Town. Who wanted the can? Who wanted the poultice? Leaves. How do you do? Look, we must go lock up. Mikara, baby of three sisters. Pleasure to meet you. Any request for building the town? Drawing water. Close to the oasis. Why is that always the best of floor number 10? 414 in the shipwreck? Because you can buy the key. Yes. Yeah. Loot in the back floors is random and reliable. Easily find level up and sphere down weapons there. Okay. Yeah. So I knew I could grind to get that done, but I like I've been trying to play this game, quote unquote, organically. I'm not trying to sit and grind too much or spend too much effort um, optimizing my build. You're in a shop gearing for the final boss. Hey man, we're save the world, do some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's exactly how shopkeepers always are. You know, I get it, you're gonna go save the world, and you could really use this elixir, but how about you give me like 500 gil for it? Don't break the pole, Guardian. What do you need? Can you install a cabin? Just for storage base, but it would really help. Another gourd. I did save up some of the gourds to give to um, Stickman so I can 
have him actually be able to function. What do you want? Don't you forget that. Oh, no, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I will make sure to keep a note of which of those floors, though. You need for your home. Have many dresses in the home. Don't forget that. Okie dokie. Yeah, if you get it from Dran for 100% in the first town, I'm pretty sure. Hold up. Did I not ask one of them what it was they wanted? I thought I did. Looking for your home. Oh, I didn't ask Miko what she wanted, huh? Oops. You inside now? No, it's just you. Now, where is Mika? <laughs> That's the hard part. Gotta track her down now. Oh, here, here you are. What do you need for your home? The Pole Guardian. Yes. Sharp kid, come to collect his ward already. Sorry, can't help you. What a cool girl. <clears throat> wow. Oh no, not this guy again. Glad you're still with us. I really am. <laughs> it was a year ago. I was stung by a scorpion. Chill under my tree. This is it. I am finished. A scorpion sting. I will die. Yo, you okay, bruh? Nikita, a scorpion got me. I won't live much longer. I'll call the doctor right away, dude. You just chill here. No time. Stay, Nikita. I don't want to die. This. But, bro. I'll get the dock. Stay here. Oh no. Now I'm alone while I die. Mr. Naga, what are you doing here? A scorpion got me. I will die soon. Stay by me for a while, Mikara. I won't last much longer. It's my last wish. Thank you. <laughs> Beats the shit out of them. Whoa, why are you so mean to me? I'm already dying. So she's gonna suck out the venom. go that's their that's their story an ally. And then 
Antone leaves. And before them, say their goodbyes. Oh, hey. It's the rabbit. We couldn't help overhearing. So Tone's back to normal. Or Umnaga's back to normal. I really wanted him to get back to his old self again. I'm really glad. No, it's okay. I'll say goodbye from here. If we talk too much, it may be hard for me to go back to the village. It's the end of my mission here. I'm sure Ngaga will be a great help on your quest. So long. And he just walks through the desert. Oops, I almost forgot. To enter the last chamber the moonship is kept, you need both the sun signet, which is kept by the sand warriors, and the moon signet, which we moon people control. I believe the sun signet has been handed down for years to village chiefs. The problem is, the moon signet, which was supposed to be kept by us, uh, Nem doesn't like little hassles, so he left it with the sand warriors so they could manage the entire temple. Uh, but please don't blame Nem. Managing a tomb is hard work. Anyway, both of them are kept by the people of this village. Remember now, you need both to enter the last chamber. I love how, like, actually garbage the moon people are at everything. Every time they, rec they like, tell about a thing they were supposed to do, or a event they were supposed to oversee, they just, like, didn't. Hey, you GB... whatever. Boy, stirring things up. My name is G-Boo-Boo. -Boo. Pleasure to meet you. What do you want? Just keep the custom of the pole guardian. Can you place the hay for the roof by the house? Oh, and don't forget about the totem. happy he is. Why? I don't understand. But why? Why? Hi there. Looking at my house returned to normal. I just felt like screaming. So why don't you come in? I really appreciate this. Thanks to you, now I can live my ordinary life again. This is to show my gratitude. Fruit of Eden. By the way, if you notice, something seems wrong here. The aesthetic sense they have in Muscalac is not very good. That Ungaga is regarded as handsome and desirable, and I am regarded as plain looking. Shouldn't they take a better look at me? I mean, come on. What is the definition of beauty anyway? Does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is seen as beautiful by more people is beautiful. But wait, that means I am plain looking after all. No, that can't be. <laughs> Why? You, you good in here, Chief? So I gotta get. I, I gotta bring you the powder, don't I? All right. Um, I'm sure someone around here is a. Uh, Is a storage and I can take from them. Maybe. No. Okay, I will be I'll be back I'll be back soon with some uh stuff for you, Chief. Actually, what's in this building? Let me find out. Maybe it is a storage. That'd be really useful if it is. Oh, it's not. It's just an empty room. Okay. Bum bum. Bum. Go to other area. Okay. Up on the top of this hill, there's a man who lives in this house who's holding on to some beautification powder, which will make that guy beautiful. Or closer to whatever aspect of beauty he desires, I suppose. Over to Muscalaka.
Muscaraca. Muscalaca. Musca... Is it... Is it supposed to be L or R? I feel like it's supposed to be L, but... Or it's supposed to be R, but... J Japanese, maybe? I don't know. Is it I don't really know. Oh, Dino Slayer. Not you. Uh... Hey, you. Uh... I guess he doesn't actually want the beautification powder. I thought he would. No. Oh. Oh. How sad. I wanted to make him truly beautiful. Maybe one of those sisters wants it instead, then? Nope. Hey, morning. There we go. Nope. She teleported away. Okay. Oh, he has to be inside the house. Okay. Yeah. Maybe he's inside during the morning. Who knows? Amazing. This is the famed, quote unquote, foundation. I'll take it. Thank you. Please accept this in return. Uh. Hmm. Thank you? Okay, does he look beautiful now? Maybe if I leave and come back in, he'll be uh, transformed by the foundation. Well, yeah, it's the it, that's the theme for the quest, but I mean, it's kind of weird looking, isn't it? I don't really want it. Kind of odd. All right, let's see. What do I what do I have in my inventory? I've got four slots free. Okay, so let's flick over to Naga. Let's give him some water capacity. I'd also bump up his uh, HP to match the rest of my party. Which I think is 130? Is everyone at 130? No, some people are at 120. So Ruby needs to be 130. I also like using Ruby, so I'm gonna bump her up to 140. And I'm gonna bump main character up to 140 as well. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, I figured it would be a very useful item. Like, I'm not. I'm not disparaging its use in the game, I'm just thinking it's like, I gave this guy a magical powder that makes anyone more beautiful and he gives me a clay doll. Like, does he not have any sense of value? <laughs> Am I the weird one for thinking that's a weird trade? Uh, go to other area. Now I can teleport down to um, where those golems were. I don't think I have to re-kill them. They're probably uh, probably still dead. But I gotta use magical uh, staff powers to blow the curtain of fog away. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I have to use him. Probably not. I hope not, because I don't have a weapon for him. And I hate using characters if I'm not also doing something with a weapon. Like upgrading it or something, or working on it. So far I'm liking Ruby and the main character for combat power the most. Yeah, there will be a floor dedicated to- whoa! 
I didn't even see that monster coming up. This thing's kind of creepy looking. Oops. Went to run. There we go. Oh, abs are full. Upgraded. Um. I'm still trying to... I need every element up, I think. <laughs> Alright. Customize. That'll probably be enough ice. I have to take a guess. So let's work on thunder as well, I suppose. Yeah, I don't need thunder, wind, and holy. new sword for this guy. I wonder what it's like. Bachura. It's medium stats. This is the weapon I've been working on to upgrade with him. I'm trying to get this thing to be max power here. Got a bandit sunshot instead of him. Uh, what does it need? It needs attack, magic, all the elements and a bunch of different enemy stats. Huh. I'll just switch to ranged characters because these golems are a pain if you don't hit them from range. <laughs> oh, hey. Alright, I got the king's seal. And another crystal ring. Envy, or Evy, a shrimp. And a stone key. Alright. No, I didn't want to jump. I wanted to shoot you from the other side. That's fine. No, I didn't want to jump back. Ugh. Yeah. The lamb sword is what I'm trying to upgrade. sword upgrade or something here I'll admit I'm not really I don't really know what's the best in the game but I just saw like it was a pretty strong weapon so I decided to go for it Sounds pretty good then. Guess I'm gonna need a lot of stats to do that upgrade then, huh? Sword into Eternal or to add Elvenilia Sword into Chronicle. All right, yeah. Sounds like a good plan. 
Probably need a lot of stats for it, though, huh? Oh, hey, double impacts uh, stats are full. Uh, we're gonna take out the all powerful axe, and um, what does it need to be built up? Pretty much every stat, fire, ice, and a bunch of different monster parts. Okay. Whatever. There we go. I think it was what? Flying was one of them. I think fish was one of the other ones. Sure. Let me block onto you. Posture check. Ugh. Sit up in my chair. Move my chair forward a bit. There we go. Hydrate. More water. Magical rock, yeah. Yeah. And dual front flip. Or shoot your crossbow. That's fine too. Slingshot. Right, we're back into it. And we're gonna go to the secret floor up here, because I've got lots of the uh, secret room keys ready for action. Oosh. Unfortunately, this cutscene is a long one. Is that a compliment to my gameplay skills, or are you insulting the game? Was there supposed to be an E at that, that second one? Like, you're trying to, like, make a joke on Dragon? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Wasn't that much thought put into it, huh? It was just a joke? I see how it is. Yes, I used the key. Thank you, key. Not take a lot of damage. Or I guess they do take they take a lot of damage. They have a ton of health. Bombs don't give a lot of abs out. Wow. Defeated. Oh, I didn't want to use a food. I wanted to run. Oh well. 
Guess it's gonna free up some more slots for inventory then, I guess. Oh, holy gem. That's it, huh? Okay. Back down into the depths of the dungeon, towards that free water pool, which I will take great advantage of. Or something like that, I guess. He's stuck. The fool, his hitbox is too big, or his moonbox is too big to fit the gap. <laughs> he just has so much health. You know, could probably kill one in one shot, though. This guy, he's got a big weapon. Nope, he could not. I thought he could. Hmm, okay. Floor 17, huh? Yeah. These are steel giants. Can I, like, equip a metal or an anti-metal? Maybe I need a different attribute for these guys. Will fire do better? Oh, no, it's all good, yeah. Honestly, I don't know if I'll grind until um, I, like, really feel a necessary need to. Um, that's better. All right, well, have a, have a good rest of your evening, or afternoon, Key. Hope it treats you well. Um, does thunder do better? I know it's if I have lower thunder element, but I might do better anyway. Yes, it does. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. slingshot. Oh well. Build up. What do I need? Elements. Undead. Ghost. That's it. Or ghost spellcaster. So I'm out of wind or thunder with me so let's just stack a couple holies in here for now I guess. And we'll repair it. And we're gonna keep on diving in the dungeons. Oh. Actually, not really keep on. We're going to leave now and go to the next floor. We're going to open all these chests before I go. And I think I'll equip back to the holy element while I'm running around with this thing. Because it's its highest uh, attribute. Amethyst. What does an amethyst do for a weapon, huh? No stat changes, a bunch of ice, dino, and uh. Might be a speed boost, but uh. Yeah. Ice, dino, and spellcaster. That's how I'll remember it. Climb into the coffin and be off. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. 
So, Enel, uh, you mentioned you quite like this game. Uh, do you like Dark Cloud 1 uh, as much? Or Dark Cloud 2, sorry? Is what I meant to say? I'm playing Dark Cloud 1 now. <laughs> 1 over 2 for you? Yeah. Um, I honestly... I've never beaten either of them, but I had my PS2 when I was growing up. And these were both games that I loved, but I never beat them. I was uh, just not invested enough, I suppose, so I kind of just skipped past them for the most part. Um, but I remember Dark Cloud 2 had a lot of systems I really liked. Like, I thought the photography system was awesome. And I remember I really liked the monster transformation. I think that was, like, really cool. But it's been a long time since I played them, so I don't actually know how well it holds up in comparison. Like, this game is a banger. Despite its age, it still keeps pretty strong. I'll admit, there's a couple systems I don't really see the need for that much. Like... A lot of the mechanics in this game I like, but are... Some are, like, out there. Like, I'm not a big fan of the thirst system. Um... The weapon... The weapon modification system in this game is a huge standout if... In my opinion, a little bit too grindy. I think it takes a bit too long to upgrade your weapons. But yeah, I still like this game a lot. It's awesome. Well, I'm not saying, like, I don't want it to be a grind. I like that there is that way to just make your weapons scale up. I just find that, for me so far, I've been noticing that, uh... It takes too long to upgrade small incremental stats. Like, if I want to get a weapon to plus 5 to turn it into a sphere, that's a huge power boost. But it takes a lot of monsters to upgrade a weapon to plus 5. Or if I want, like, you've seen I'm using this Crystal Ring for a long time. This entire time I've been playing, a couple hours now. It's gotten two levels, and I don't think I'm that much closer to my goal of the next step. Because I've been focusing almost exclusively on this character. So it feels like all my other characters aren't getting any love or attention because of how long I need to spend on each weapon. I can't upgrade all the weapons. Or if I can, it'll take me much too long. At least. That's the feel. Oh, hey. I need to... Uh... That looks like blue to me, so I'm gonna switch over to ice. Yes, yes, um. But that's the thing is, generally, I love grinding in a lot of games. Um, there's quite a few that I can grind for hours and hours in. But I don't think a game should be built around grinding. I think it would be really cool if there's some, like, optional zones um, that would require that. That's fine. I guess I couldn't really complain too much, because so far, despite not grinding, I've had a pretty good run of just being able to fight monsters with weapons I have. It's probably going to be the final dungeon that'll really make me grind. I guess a big part of it also, because I'm streaming it now, rather than just playing it for, for myself casually. Like, if I were just doing this for myself, I probably wouldn't have left, uh... I probably would not have left the last, um... Uh, what you call it? Last zone. Until I had had my Almilia sword, at least. But I don't want to sit and grind on stream. something wrong. Isn't there a final dungeon to this game? Am I losing my mind? I totally thought there was like a like a post-game dungeon. Am 
maybe I'm just maybe I'm just losing it, or I just remembered it. Maybe it's Dark Cloud Two that has that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like maybe that's when I'm gonna start the need to grind to succeed, right? Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, the hundred floor dungeon. Still not used to the circle being so big. That's Zabo's house. Um. Say that is now or na w, or do you pronounce the underscore as well? But uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night so far or afternoon, uh, or it, maybe it is night for you. I don't know. Oh no! No, oh, I didn't get bubbled. I thought I was gonna get bubbled. Yeah, well, I hope you're having a good day so far. Yeah, this guy's weapon's really weak right now, because I've been not using him, because I've been trying to level up other weapons. It's like, I could go and use the Lamb Sword, but I'm trying to upgrade the chopper to 5 to put it into the Lamb Sword. I don't know really why. Oh, I had a decent uh, monster, and I think some... I don't know. Not really worth it, to be honest. Not a fan of any of the subsystems? Fair enough. The fact that there's only two characters is, like, not as great for me. I think the characters are less interesting. But the building your own mech, I think, was really fun as a kid. I loved being able to just build it and put different parts on it. Um, and I remember the golf minigame was ridiculous. <laughs> Sveta. I'm gonna admit, I don't remember what Sveta is. Is that the golf? Is that the name of the golf? Ah, yeah. I'll go a step on the circle. Let's see what happens. Hey, here we go. Max HP of a weapon. Cool. I'm not a fan of these bomb enemies because they don't give very good abs. And they're kind of like annoying to fight. Like, you can't fight with melee characters because of the explosion. And even ranged characters have to be careful of that really long, lingering explosion effect. If you touch it, you just get blasted back. But hey, no enemy in this game has been as bad as the moles, which I think are definitely definitely the worst enemy so far. In, uh, the... What you call it? In the Wise Owl Forest, 
Those moles are the worst. I hated them so much. Hydrate. We'll do it. Mm, delicious. Water. The giver of life. Oh yeah, Prajan masks were fine. I had no issue with them at all. They were tanky, but not that bad. The thing is with me with the moles is I just couldn't avoid getting hit. Nothing I could do could figure out how to hit them. But the Prajana masks, you just walk backwards until they swing and then hit them. I don't know. Maybe there's like a technique to fighting the moles I never figured out, but I just couldn't do it. They've killed more characters in this game than anything else has. I couldn't do it, no matter what. Like, every time I tried to do his charge attack, they would hit me before the charge starts, or they'd avoid it completely. I don't know. I just couldn't do it. You can go back and watch the VODs, and you'll see me just fail to fight the moles. Alright. Opening some chests. McBreaker. Bag is full. Can't carry anymore. Um. There we go. Uh, wind gem. Honestly, not valuable at all. Stop side hopping. <laughs> yeah, but it's not useful. Like, I'm gonna get a few dollars out of it, for sure. The stone's only worth, I think, one. But, like, I was hoping for, like, I don't know, like a gemstone or something. Yeah, but. An item that you can throw for one damage and is worth one is about is only about forty nine gila worth it than a item that or worth less than a item that sells for fifty, right? Like I'm never gonna throw it because why would I throw it when I could just attack my enemies with my attacks instead? It feels like the chest contained fifty bucks, which is not very exciting. <laughs> is all I'm saying. I'd much rather get like a like a gemstone or something. That's what I find I'm like running into the most, as I'm running out of good um, gems to put my weapons. Maybe it's because I'm just not doing any of the fishing mechanics, but I don't know. I keep running out of gems to put my weapons, good things. Ah, sun blinding blinds must get closed. The sun's now low enough that it's hitting my screen in my eye. 